Feelings like you popped an antidepressant uh, Treat me like life on 11 There was no button so who was you pressing uh, Treat all these rappers like Caesar salad When it comes to the green we addressing We get to address it like residentials Hit a wine like bitches they say the mental oh, man I mean what I say you get check credentials Check the status woo nigga this monumental Monumental Bitch I'm too fly like a banner So I don't got time for your banner She give me peaches no cream like Atlanta So I had to bag a little shoddy like Santa uh, She said I'm too evil like Pitchfork uh, Niggas mad and broke they piss for uh how to call a boy up for looking at my shorty The fuck you staring at my bitch for uh Funny how they see your happiness They lacking it so they gon' take what's yours No having it they snatching it for sure uh. Can't trust the bitch yeah. Can't trust the bitch yeah. Can't trust the bitch yeah. And all y'all niggas suck my dick Can't trust the bitch yeah. Can't trust the bitch yeah. Can't trust the bitch yeah. And all y'all niggas suck my dick Yeah Yeah yeah. 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 Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby case. We have four pounds today. This was a special request from Redbone. Okay, I wish I knew your like your actual name so I could put it up there. But um this is gonna be um how do people view your connection? Now when I was pulling the cards, I'm not necessarily giving the everybody that watches their videos in a relationship. This could be a platonic connection with siblings, family, and for some of you, always getting more so a spiritual connection, like a connection with spirit, your connection with like entities and deities. Like some people, um, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. But I do feel like there's some, somebody here is like a empath, intuitive, maybe even a tarot reader, and you may be drawn to more than one pal, because maybe another pal in which people are like questioning or talking about or discussing your connection with spirit, okay? So if that resonates and you feel drawn to more than one pal, then I'll see you at that pal. But this is going to be pal one, this is going to be pal two with the alien, this is going to be pal three, Buddha, this is going to be pal four with the lucky dog, okay? So pal one, day of the dead, pal two, alien, pal three, Buddha. Pile four, lucky dog. I'll see you at your designated pile. Of course, time stamps are gonna be in the description, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye. What's up, pile one? You guys, of course, chose the day of the dead figurine or statue. Okay, so I'm gonna be real. A lot of y'all gonna be bad. Y'all might unsubscribe. <laughs> y'all might <clears throat> thumbs down this video because my cell might broke. Because. Yeah, I just feel like that. <laughs> so just so you know, if you send me any type of negative, you're just going to go back to your ass. Just so you fucking know. But I do feel like y'all going to be upset when I give y'all this message. Because it does appear that you are inquiring about a connection that you, um, you already know is toxic. Yeah, I know your girl. I'll tell you the real tea. I do feel like that you're someone who maybe... um. You may have met this person. This may be like a high school romance or somebody that you got with really young. I do feel like at some point... This person may have been someone who had a lot of things going for themselves when they were younger. Maybe they were, like, it, it was, I don't know, maybe this person was, like, popular. I do feel like you've kind of been a misfit. Uh, I do feel like in regards to who you are as a person, though, you guys are giving me, like, salt and pepper energy. This is giving me more, so I feel like you guys, um... A very attractive for one you're very attractive to yourself uh, efficient you can be by yourself you don't need anybody to be with or to attach yourself to that's two three you're someone who, who's come from nothing and made the best of something to get you where you are and i do feel like you love very hard and i also feel like that you are someone who i feel like you're very hard working anything that you put your name attached to you put your all into it okay I feel like this relationship, I do feel like that there is love here and this connection between you and this person, but your person is very sneaky and they're unloyal. Or you are in this connection. I feel like it's more so you. Because I'm getting an energy of somebody shaking up. And I'm, this is where y'all, I, I might uh, frustrate a lot of y'all. Because it's giving like someone is giving you children. Y'all have been together for a long time. But somehow, some, uh, like, yeah. Uh, somehow, some way, they convince you that either marriage just doesn't work for y'all and you want marriage, or this person just doesn't want to commit, or it's, it's just an energy. I'm really getting strongly here. I heard common law very, very, very fucking loud. So let me just tell y'all this. And I might insert a clip right here. 
it's just given that you guys have a long-term roommate that y'all are sleeping with that you happen to have romantic feelings for. And that may be unfortunate or like uncomfortable for you guys to hear, but it just seems to be in this connection that you're attached or you're in a committed connection to somebody that's very open and they behave very single. Okay? Um, this person may have some sort of, they may be a manager, have some sort of status in regards to their job or their career. I feel like this person is, they, a lot of people view this person as to be mean, um, narcissistic, entitled even. This person could come around your family and not necessarily say too much. They could be real quiet about sitting around the people that love you, okay? This person could have like a drinking problem. They could always keep a beer or alcoholic beverage with them. Right underneath there, another fucking like a cactus. I feel like this person can be dry. They can be. I feel like that you have opened this person up to emotions, but I feel like it came at a cost. Like you and this person may have a lot in common. Okay, and I feel like when you guys came together as young people, the love was pure and it was intense and it was like um, heaven on earth. It seemed like this person was sent to you. Okay, when you first met this person, the energy is different. I feel like that who this person is now and the person that you married, the person that you decided to have kids with, or vice versa, their struggle is different now. People could feel like you try to keep things under the wraps about your relationship. Um, because you don't want people to uh, put together like the timeline. I don't know if this person was in a relationship before you guys got together, or if this person has kids from another connection before coming together with you. But it just seems like maybe this is a relationship with somebody that I feel like they're they've kept your relationship at some point a secret. Okay, I don't feel as though this person. Mm, I don't feel like they take this relationship as seriously as you do. Because when I ask the truth about like what's this relationship that you're inquiring about, you guys got the devil card. This could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. I feel like the sex may be nice, or there just may be a strong tie. I feel like that whatever connection that you have with your father, whether you're a man, man woman, or binary, if you identify as a French toast stick, it don't really make no difference to me. I feel like the connection that you have with your father is linked to the, why you want to make things work with this person. I feel like a lot of people are saying that you... Um, Or maybe staying in a connection for the kids. Okay. Some people are saying that you're. Um, I'm going to be real. People calling you stupid. Because they're saying that you're dressing up bullshit. With the salamanders. I feel like people are saying that. Um, and I'm not saying this since the truth. We're going to get into the truth of the connection. Because the truth of the connection is shame. You already know what people are saying about your relationship. You already know what people are putting out there. But I just feel like you've gotten so comfortable. In chaos, you've definitely gotten to the point to where you're misinterpreting this person's abuse or negligence as love. Look, my cell and I, it just keep breaking. It just keeps breaking. I feel like this is a connection that you have to protect yourself from. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of like people feel like that with swans. They, they portray themselves to be so graceful. You act unbothered as if some things that are happening. Now I'm seeing, uh, what's her name from Escape? And her husband is, has done all that to take money. And people show her receipts and this person acts completely fucking oblivious. It's like people feel like that you, it's like a lost cause. Like can't nobody tell you about this person. You establish roots. Some of you guys have kids with this person. Some of you are saying that you have too many kids to move on. And that's why you're staying with this person. That you just keep letting this person knock you up. Or you just keep knocking up somebody that don't have your highest interest and good. Even if y'all don't have children, y'all are still creating something. Creating an energy. And I feel like the energy is toxic. It's very, very toxic. I feel like this person here... This seems like this person is also with them holding this cup right here. It's like that. I feel like they're holding out on a big commitment. You guys could be living together, having raw sex, or having children or something like that. But this person is saying, that, oh, I'm not ready for marriage. I just don't see myself doing it. Because I'm hearing, why do you need white man paperwork? This person here, they're very manipulative and they gaslight you a lot. And they also, you caught this person lying. The person that you're inquiring about, I feel like you need to them doing some things. That they act so, you guys are together a lot open they brag about you and all this other shit but behind closed doors you've caught this person or it's been known in this relationship that this person messages other people they hit up other people they talk to other people it's that type of vibe i feel like that how people view this relationship for sure they're viewing it as a facade fake 
Okay, something that you want other people to believe that it's um, healthy, but it's not. What they're saying about your connection, distant horizons in reverse, a family room. Um, y'all just wasting time. Y'all playing house, basically. Y'all placing house. I don't know why she moved. I don't know why she take care of that man. I don't know why she doing that. It's like a lot of like. I feel like in this connection, you keep you keep hoping that this person is gonna change. Y'all could be reconciling after breaking up. I feel like y'all break up often and get back together. I feel like this somebody y'all could have grieved people at the same time. This person could have lost um, people. You could have lost somebody, and that could be why you stay in this relationship. Maybe y'all have money, like a house tied in. It's like y'all maybe y'all bought a house together, so you can't move because y'all have property together. Or maybe people are saying that you can't move because you need this person for fight, like either because they're your children's father or mother, or you need a place to stay, or they need a place to stay. Some of you are saying that you're dealing with a homosexual, somebody that you just housing. Again, you have a roommate. I don't understand. Because I feel like this is your life. And I'm going to just be honest with you. And you tell me if this sounds good. I feel like you're someone who works hard. You take care of your kids. You wash your kids. Uh, you, you bathe your kids. To wash homework. Check over homework. Go get school supplies. Make sure there's groceries in the house. Pay all the bills. Um, go to school. Prepare and teach your conferences. Remind them that they have a child as well. Um, and what's going on with their kids. I feel like you guys are taking care of the house. Paying bills, because I don't feel like this person's paying all the bills. I feel like this is a 50-50 motherfucker, and really not even that. I heard 75, and then the rest is on them. So it's like this person here, I think this person here is giving more so 80-20 more than in like 50-50. I feel like what you're putting out, even if you are married to this person, it's damn near like you're a single mother with a ring. Even if you do have kids with this person, it's damn near like, like you have a roommate. It's like you have another child. This person is very man. They can have a special chair that they like to sit into. Because look at this right here. Afro Draconians. This person here, they're very tight. They also can um, disrupt you. And they also um, have like a bad... Like pe this is somebody who keeps bad company. So like they can hang around family and friends that, you, that are very low vibrational. This person is someone that I feel like that you have a lot of love for. But there's so many glaring red flags as to why this person just ain't shit. Yeah, I said it ain't shit. Okay? I feel like, uh, again, what people are saying with salamanders, this looks like somebody looking off into the distance, but uh, disguising their pain, looking for like on to like, new beginnings. It's right on top of the coffin cards. This is a lot about things not moving forward. You, It's like a, a cycle that you continuously go through with this particular individual. And you won't take yourself off the emotional roller coaster. I feel like with the Ten of Cups, this isn't giving emotional fulfillment. This is giving emotional delusion. And this person could also be someone who's suffering from alcoholism. You could come from people and your family that have addiction. So you empathize with this person. Not because they are your equal match, but they're equal match to the people that hurt you. Your abusers. So that's why you're maintaining this relationship. And people see it and they, they're like, well, this person just... They look at you as naive. They... That, that person there, I mean, if they knew better, they would do better. Couldn't be me. This person's a good person. This is what people say about you. You're a good person. You're very loving. But you don't know when to walk away. Like, something is keeping you here. They don't know what the fuck is keeping you here. Because it appears to be and it is a toxic connection. They feel like that it has you. But look at yourself like you're unworthy. They feel like this connection is something where... It has changed you. And it has made you do things. And the truth of the connection is this connection has made you bitter. It has made you also resent sex. So some of you guys, when I say, oh, maybe the sex is really good, y'all was like, please, we don't even fuck no more. I don't even feel like y'all in the same room at night if they come home. I feel like it's more so energy. I feel like it's made you, it's it's made you dull. It's taking your glow away. It's, I feel like this person is real, um, they in your ass about shit that don't fucking matter. You can't go out at certain times. Somebody see you, they see you and they watching you. Then it's your fault. This person gaslights you for the shit that they do. So you're being punished and penalized for the things that they go out there and do with virtually no penalty. Because the penalty that would be deserving is losing you. But no, you just throw a ruckus and maybe you go off on your children, people that can't defend themselves. You're being mean to other people, family, friends, isolating yourself, which is what they want you to do so that they can manipulate you longer and more effectively. Shutting down, taking a whole bunch of naps, you stay in bed all the time when you're not working or doing something for the kids. If you didn't have your kids, you wouldn't have, have nothing to get up for. Not to say that you wouldn't have nothing to get up for, but I feel like this is your feelings. This is how you are. This person has made you depressed. I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you what I see.
I asked um, how your ancestors and your gods feel about this connection. Nine of Pentacles of Verse and Seven of Cups of Verse. You know full and well that you've outgrown this relationship. It has not gone anywhere. Why do you keep picking it up? You keep taking it out to the trash because we've already identified this is trash. Okay, so now we have, it begs the, the question, do you just like trash? Are you a trashy ass bitch? You a trashy ass nigga? Or do you recognize that you deserve opulence? What is for you whatever pass you by? God didn't create you and push you into this world and send you out here on your life's mission to be mistreated by nobody's son or daughter. Nobody's. You are not this person's property. I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care if you got 10 babies, 6 babies, 4 babies, 8 babies. It don't fucking matter. I don't care what you invested in this connection. You came into this world by your goddamn self. And you could do bad all by your goddamn self. You don't need this person. You see this special shirt. It's like hand off my toots. I feel like that you already, for one, you're not even sexually attracted to this person no more. I feel like your guys are saying, be fucking for real. Look, they pulling down their glasses like, okay, now come on. Now, now we already sent you the signs. They, they got their shirt ball up. It's almost like they... I mean, it's it's like, I, I've seen your guys being like, shit, I would think that you like being abused. I would think that you like being in toxic connection. I would think you like it the way you keep letting this person play on your top because it's not like they have anything successful to offer you. I feel like they've aged and they have not aged well. They emotionally peak. They still act the same way they did when y'all was 14, 16 now. And they got a God complex. You can't tell them a motherfucking thing. They, they smart. Very manipulative, and they get you off your divine path. This right here, and nothing of God would would feel this way. No, no, I don't care what. Any, read any spiritual text, any of, pick a book. Ain't none of them gonna tell you that love feel like this. Ain't none of them gonna tell you love feel like that. God don't play with us like that. So why you letting man play with you like that? What are you saying? <laughs> like, what are we doing? You deserve better. Cause I'm looking at you. You're talented. You're that bitch. You're that nigga. You can do bad by yourself. You got your eyes. She got her own car. Got her own crib. Let that motherfucker see what it's out after in them trenches. Since they want to be in the streets so much. This motherfucker ain't got nothing but a goddamn hound dog. And it ain't your... You ain't got... You don't have a trainer dog certifications. Let this shit go. We have work waiting for a codependency. This is what I feel like this is... It's like, well, I'll be damned if I see another chick on your benefit from all. So, all the work I did, be fucking for real. If you love yourself, who cares? You. It's no need for further. It, like. Research is right there, clear in your face. Bam, this person not for you. Bam, you leave this person alone. Bam, this person ain't shit. And if you have left them, leave them as a has been. And anybody that get them, just know they picking up trash. And hey, it may be one man's trash is another man's treasure. Who gives a fuck? Just quit worrying about that. Quit thinking that one day this person is gonna change. They may change, possibly. But your happiness gonna always be a day away, especially when you put it in the hands of a motherfucker who don't give a fuck about you. Look at you heard that bird? This person likes to fuck with birds. And I feel like your God just really wants you to let this situation go. You're deserving of a love that does not hurt. You're deserving of a love that makes you not question yourself. You're deserving of a love that doesn't make you cosplay your happiness. You understand what I'm saying? You deserve that. And you have support. This person has caused strain and relationship between you and your sister, your friends. It's just causing unnecessary like trauma. For what? <laughs> For what? Because I'm hearing, I've been knowing you since you was 10. You cannot hide from your friend, girl. And don't please don't tell me this motherfucker putting their hands on you. Please. Don't tell me this person putting their hands on you. And you sick and I'm saying, this is ain't a victim of abuse because I've been there, honey. Been there. And I, I, I'm, I'm considering dropping the pictures on a motherfucker that was being abusive to me. And I was 17 with a, a grown-ass man. 19 grown-ass men that was doing... That's why I can, I can talk to y'all like this because I've been there. I ain't talking from a place of, like, no experience. I'm just telling you what I... Like, niggas will pray on that shit. Pray on that shit. And I just thought I knew. Couldn't nobody tell me shit about my nigga. I, I bust a picture in their face. 
got expelled from college because she was talking shit about my nigga. Like, couldn't nobody tell me shit about this abusive ass, nothing ass nigga? Looking back, I'd be like, damn, what the fuck? And that's what you like. I, I just, I laugh because it definitely try, it, it shapes so much in me. I let a motherfucker who literally didn't have a pot to piss in, literally, literally couldn't pay his own fucking rent, talk to me crazy. And I'm coming out of my motherfucking pockets to give him, yeah, I was that type of, I was going the dumb way. So I can, t- I can talk my shit because I have been through it. And I'm here to tell you that you're going to get through this shit, baby. You'd have been through worse. This is, this is guppy shit. What you feel like you losing is the idea that you created them in your head. And they never told you they was that. They didn't fill out the application for that job. They don't want the position. You, It's not even like you firing them. This is like... Like the business ain't even, it can't even run effectively because you looking at prospects. They ain't even called back. They scheduled the interview, but they don't even want to be a part of this damn relationship. Whatever this is, even if it ain't romantic, even if this is family, this is like somebody coming around you and it's like, oh my God, you know your mama crackhead. You know they're going to come around you still, tell you they're they going to be there, and then you should, they make a date and then they don't show up. Then you come back, your TV gone, all that extra shit, basically. Like you already know what to expect with this motherfucker. You already know what to expect. This person is toxic. Baby, that come around. Oh, you know, I want my family back. Motherfucker just stopped fucking with the white bitch because the white bitch stopped paying his bills. So now he's back over here with you and he will need a place to stay. He's a homosexual. Call it what you see it, but it is what it is. You have to leave this person alone. Period. That's just what it is. You have to leave this person alone. I feel like this here has caught, like affected your self esteem. I feel like you have been homeless behind this person before. Or you almost been there. This person has had you a major fucking debt. Even if it's emotional debt. Or people don't even want to fuck with you because of your connection. It's so fucking blatantly toxic. And I feel like also. This is the thing. Because I feel like if people know this much about your relationship. Because how they, what they're saying and how they feel about your relationship. Is that they know that you're hiding pain. It's to the point where like you can't even hide it anymore. It's like. This is not giving. What's that movie? Uh, that Tyler Perry movie. Fuck. Damn. It's that Tyler Perry movie where she was getting her ass beat on. And the mama was telling her to stay. The nothing ass mama. Both of them was. That's why she was in that connection. That she thought that shit was love. Because her mama was abusive. That's the energy. It's like it's a common denominator. And once we get rid of that, all this other shit, this fake ass imaginary ass fairy tale ass relationship that you think you have with this person, you gotta find out that it's like delinquent. It don't even exist. Non existent. Irrelevant. I don't, like I asked, like, what's your advice? We have judgment, three of pentacles, hate men, and hurt me. Okay. At the end of the day, we have to decide how does this make you feel? Are you comfortable feeling this way? Do we wanna move forward, pal one? Feeling like I have to, like it's like you put on a happy suit every day. You're not even happy. Do you want to live a lie? Do you want to live in a house with rats and roaches? Cause God's not gonna bless you with no nice shit around this motherfucker. Cause they above. Duh. Is it this what you want to do all day? Fuck with somebody, and then this person here they take your money and go trick on other bitches and niggas and go play in their face. On your time. Do you want? Do you like the way they love feel? We could talk about all day. Yeah, mm, they got romantic feelings, but they love is toxic. How they love feel to you? What does that feel like to you? What do you want for yourself? See how this motherfucker right there is like carrying off that damn pinnacle. It's like these people here are robbing, robbing. How much more do you want this person to take from you? They've already taken your piece. That's too expensive if you ask me. Personally. Way too much if you ask me. <laughs> you feel me? The hangman. You already have the answers. What's so bad about being alone? You're already alone. This person ain't here. They're not accompanying you. They're not comforting you. They're adding insult to injury. So the, I, 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 this is the question that I, ask, I want you to ask yourself today. How long am I being willing to be a participant in this person's then it's abuse? Do I love myself? How long am I willing to sacrifice my peace for another person? Ask yourself that. (laughs) 
This person here has no intention to to live the bridges between you and them. This person here, let me tell you about motherfucker that know what they want. I'm gonna tell you. Cause I met someone and I just knew I was gonna marry him. I just knew that this is the person here that I want to spend the rest of my fucking life with. It was a lot of shit I, I said up all up and down. I never I could never ever ever never would. Nigga been I even asked. Like I, I I when I tell you that I, it was a natural giving that I as a woman submitted to this person, that I as a woman was naturally nurturing and loving to this person in spite of what I've been through. How all that shit went out the way because I knew I had to get my shit together because I had somewhere to fucking go, where to marry Mary. It's that type of energy. Like, I was very much so, I knew what I wanted. So, if the motherfuckers sure about you, they're not going to act a certain type of way. This person here, they're just benefiting off your energy. You're comfortable. You're like base point. You're like this person here is really using you because they feel like that you're going to always be there. It's giving goofy. It's giving dumb. So unless you are signing up for the position to be a penny wise clown ass bitch, I suggest you wise up, look at your worth, acknowledge who you are because you are that motherfucker. You have your own shit. This person is literally a hobosexual. I cannot like put the script and rub it down. If it's a family member, this is just somebody who is just low vibrational. The motherfucker is vibrating at a negative frequency. Like it's just not giving what's supposed to give. They're a liar. They gaslight you. This is a parent that feels like you are obligated to maintain a relationship between you and them. That's not your obligation as a child. Quit being bamboozled. Let it go. <laughs> it's like this person is going to be who they are. They always who they be. That's just what it is. At the end of the day, this is something that don't make you feel good. And it's just your experience in life. You only get to live this life one time as far as you know. Right? So if you're going to live this life and we're going to do what we need to do, the last thing you want to do is end it living for other people. Who are living for themselves. So that's what I have for you guys. Power number one. I love you guys. See the movie back and around on social media. This will be your read. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, what's up, I'm number two, this will be a reading. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I'm not really giving you guys in a relationship, or this spread, this spread is not really giving you a relationship with, like, another person. This is your relationship with spirit. I feel like that you guys, maybe you, uh, market yourself as a spiritual practitioner, um, and people really look for you with, with, for insight. I feel like that you guys are showing up as someone that is very talented. Um, you do have knowledge of spirit. You are some sort of teacher, healer. Okay, and you kind of wear this outwardly. You're also someone that is very neat, um, but you make weird cool. <laughs> okay, um, that's just kind of your tease, your energy. You could definitely be a Pisces or have high, heavy Pisces placement within your chart. Okay, people do look at you as someone who has a lot of inner knowing, a lot of answers, a lot of abilities, skills, etc. People um, feel like things go in your favor. People feel like that you look very good. People may feel like that you do rituals to keep yourself looking nice. Like people just find you to be someone who's very lucky and you showing up as the privileged lady. Even if you're not necessarily like a woman or something like that, it's just you're showing up as someone that is quite abundant, okay? I feel as though people have seen you change a line evolve. I feel like this is more so coming from like the people closest to you rather than strangers. And people just feel like, the, or maybe if it is strangers, they could look at you as someone who's young and you have a lot of wisdom to be so dumb. Um, and they feel like that you see straight through them. I feel like these are also people that you interact with um, that you feel are not on your level. You know, this could be at work or something like that. You could have a nine to five, or you could also be a healer, um, or you could just have you could be able to do read, do tarot and things like that, or just be a spiritual person and not necessarily do it for other people, but for the people that you have done readings for, they're like, oh wow, this really nice, this is really good. How do you know that? Or they just find you just have like maybe you always somebody say, I had a dream X Y Z, this this happens, and then it happens. Okay, I just heard someone here was born with a veil over their face. Take that, how it resonates. Okay, you would know that. <laughs> I don't have to go into detail. Those who know know. But 
With the awakening here, I do feel as though you guys are definitely I feel like you're entering your like your spiritual journey, but I feel like it's still more work to be done. It seems like you guys are very comfortable with where you are in spirit. And I'm trying to figure out a way to tell y'all this without going off. I just went off on pound one. <laughs> I just we literally went off on brown one. So I'm trying to figure out like how can I <laughs> I gotta tell you how this is a nice way. Like there's still more work to do. Okay? I do feel like there's a lot of energy surrounding because I asked the truth of the situation because people are really picking you up. And I say, okay, what's the real deal? You know what I'm saying? What's the what's the real spill about the shit? So we get down and dirty. And it looks like you guys are resisting some sort of like change or shift. And I, your ancestors are saying the same thing. Six of Wands in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, holiday. <laughs> you're just getting started. <laughs> um, it seems to be that you're avoiding some shadow work too. Oh my gosh, Mario. Huh. Please don't tell me you just somebody that's just uh faking the funk. Please don't. <laughs> it just seems as um, you're coming across as somebody that maybe for some of you guys, you, you think this shit is a game just for like money and resources and it's not that um people are saying that you suddenly have like like you have like i don't know you just have a really deep connect people they feel like you're connected to some sort of evil spirit i will say that people are kind of scared of you um but they also know that you have certain gifts so they don't really know how to feel about you but i feel like your guides they're saying this is something that could be very profitable for you, but be weary of using your powers for the wrong reasons. Be weary of doing uh, using your powers um, or your gifts and abilities for ego, because it's like this was given to you for a reason. For a reason, you understand know what I'm saying? People are looking at you as someone who's done all the healing. But if that's the image that you're putting off into the world, that's wrong information because you're never done healing. It's a continuous journey. I feel like that you guys are being called to bring awareness to areas in which you've gotten either too cocky or arrogant. This could also be an energy of like in regards to your advice. They want you to take more time actually studying the shit that you talk about. So that you're not just dry ass talking out your ass. Which you may have, you may be clear cognizant. So you could just know certain things and that can work for you. However, you need to really be able to do the research. They want you to pick up a fucking book. Remember those? Hardcover. With pages. Yeah, they want you to pick up one of those. Um and do some research, some more research. And I'm not saying you've never done that. I just feel like your guys are saying they would like you to do more. Because <laughs> you guys may feel like, I have all, all the, read all the books in the world. It's like the energy of like, well, there's some things about you that could be fixed. Okay? Healed, rather. Worked with. Okay? Passion, forgiving, and learning. Okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. It's almost like that you guys, the truth is you got into a place to where this is an issue in itself. This is another thing you can research. <laughs> this is more so you've gotten to the point to where you view like, uh, people as either, not necessarily smaller than you, just not on the same level. So you're negating your faults and your human like traits and abilities and how you may come across because you possess a certain level of wisdom and knowledge. And this could also be you not experiencing life. This person here looks very um, disinterested. And there's a whole fucking angel trying to get his attention. He's, push, he's pu pushing another woman down. 
Let me see, who else is on this call? He's like, he's been around many for him, he just doesn't care. Some of you guys are just like... I don't know. I don't want to say you spiteful. Cause I'm not even getting that. I just feel like you guys have gotten to the point where you're just disinterested in like life. That could be what it is. If you guys aren't arrogant, some of you guys are spiteful. You just spit, spit magic at people for no fucking reason. You can stop that shit. But if it's not that and you're not a malice person, the truth of your relationship with spirit is that they're saying that you've got to a level where, yes, you are vibrating high frequency. You have certain knowledge, but you're not you, You're not living. You're not enjoying this life. You're not um, adding new experiences because you just maybe have a fear of people. Maybe you feel like that you're not going to meet your kind of like people on your frequency, which is why you're attracting people who are not on your frequency. Because you're putting out in the universe that you don't believe that someone can teach you something. And you can learn some things. You can learn a few things, actually. You know? They're saying be open to being a student and you'll always be a teacher. I don't know how that... I don't know. It's... They just kind of want you to chill out a little bit. Not chill out in a sense to where, like, you're not the shit, because you're the shit. I'm just saying, they also want you to know that, like, it's more to life than just... Everything is spiritual. That's the thing. No matter what it looks like, it's all spiritual. Even if people are just not... Or arrogant. It's, that's still spiritual in its own way. So they have to be that way to teach you something or to bring awareness to something so they serve their purpose. So who's to say that they were wrong in doing so? It's like everything could be objective, but I feel like that your guys, you guys are not experiencing life. Maybe you're not going out and interacting with people because maybe you're always reading into things. Maybe you make things like, I don't know, maybe you're looking for everything as a sign. Maybe some stuff is just life. Maybe you're supposed to live. Okay, maybe you guys have just gotten bored around people. This is like, disassociating that's what i feel like you guys are doing and they want you to stop that let me clarify because this, uh, this giving like for the advice from your, your guys your ancestors to support you on your divine path for the six of wands to be like this the way i'm looking at it because she looks like she's super i don't know how to explain it the energy that she's giving off to me in this card she looks like somebody that's always been cool you know they've always been a smart one and i feel like with the page of pinnacles and verse that may be a bad sign if everybody is always praising you i'm gonna be real like I don't know. You guys are not like yes, me. I'm like small people, and it could trigger you to be around people who are also bad bitches, and that may be something that you need to like work on. And that's what they're telling you, <laughs> like, um, yeah, Knight of Cups, and then I put up in the verse. Yeah, it's almost about. Mm -hmm. She looks cool too. There may be somebody else that's coming up. Like maybe you guys are um, have some. There's gonna be a connection that comes about with someone who may not have your. I don't know. It's like a weight on the energy. There's like a collaboration. Not really giving a relationship. I'm giving more so like a friendship, a platonic connection, in which yeah, higher friend at the bottom of the deck. This looks like a team. Okay, there's going to be a really good work connection or dynamic. You're going to have somebody who says like a soulmate, but in a platonic sense. And I feel like this friend is going to be someone that maybe, I don't know, they could be way younger than you or they could do things differently or maybe they just are not on your caliber right now. But this person is very fucking creative. I don't know, if you shot this person some magic or some negative energy and I would say, <laughs> I would say, uh-uh. <laughs> I would say they're warning you against that because this person is not to be fucking played with. Or there's an energy of like, I just gotta read it. It's just, you guys can create so much. This looks like someone who is loyal, a really good friend, a really good teammate. But this also looks like somebody that can come into the school where this person has always been popular, always got in status, and poop, you know? For me,
Yes, this person's watching in the background. There's signs telling you that. This person has been around for a while. Maybe they've watched you for a while. Maybe they're a space subscriber for you for a long time. But this person here is like really smart. Really um, strict. Like they take their time. They put their effort into their work. Maybe you're thinking about collaborating with somebody, and but you're intimidated and they're saying, don't be, because this could work with you. This could work really well for you. Because it just seems like you guys have a lot of time. Like, you guys are going to be able to... I feel like this person here is part of a community of people that you're going to meet that are like you. Like, you have a soul tribe out there. This could be, like, a feminine here who just doesn't... Who's, like, so anti-making relationships or friendships or connections with friends. Because I get it. You have been hated on before because you you're that bitch, right? And you used to command it in the room. You used to be like the baddest one. But there does appear to be somebody here that I also feel like they're young, they're quirky, they're different, very unconventional. And this person here could teach you a lot. They're going to go places. And how does this affect you? It just it seems to be like you guys are going to be a couple of this person. It's like this person's part of your journey. Or maybe this person here, maybe you're hating on somebody. You just need to stop hating. I don't know if you're a hater secretly or they're saying, like, don't be, don't um get jealous or become jealous because that can cause, like, yeah, imbalance within yourself. Temperature versus the world or high It's like something here. Somebody sabotaged something because of envy and then that didn't need to take, that didn't need to occur. <laughs> or this could be something or potential or warning. Okay, or you can sabotage connections I'm out of envy because maybe you're just used to being uh, the baddie or something like that, the baddie. So this could be like your connection with people in general. <laughs> like maybe you're coming across as kind of like an asshole. Like how, like what, how are, how is, how's he coming across to people? Seven of Cups, Fool Cards, King of Pentacles in Reverse, and Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, very saying offish. Okay. Maybe you offended this person. And this could have been a relationship or something that was really, like, you guys could have just created some a lot of work. Like, maybe that you guys, it's giving you maybe the options between who to collaborate with or who to do, like, some work with. And you may have, like, business with the Earth sign right now. Or maybe it's yeah, you got business with Earth sign, but somehow, somewhat, some like I don't know. This person to be Earth sign. This person here, they're gonna, like they're maybe it's not given like this person either doesn't have a lot of subscribers or they are just young. They're very very young, and it can be very frustrating for somebody younger, like way way younger or intimidating. Maybe it's weird for you older actually to collaborate with someone who's really young or maybe new on something. Maybe they just don't have a lot of like. I don't know, but they, you watch them though. <laughs> like you interact with them though. Or this person here is just very fucking creative. Or you're gonna like the people that you're gonna be coming around. Initially, when you interact with people, they're not gonna always show you like their whole deck of cards. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody's not gonna be that way, but you don't know who you're interacting with. It's like this person here. They they may come across a certain kind of way. That may be how they disguise themselves in public, which is really what I'm getting. But I do this to people. I ain't never let people know how smart I fucking am. I play dumb all the time <laughs> when I'm interacting with people. Because I mean, that's how I, 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 I see how people are moving <laughs> around me. I can see the real them when they think I don't know shit. And I don't intentionally dumb myself down all the time. I just really don't. When I say play dumb, I just don't say. I, I really be quiet. <laughs> that's how I play dumb. I don't say anything. And I observe and I watch people before I open up my fucking mouth. If I'm going to say something, I'm going to say it. And it's not going to be anything to. I, I'm going to speak and it's going to be truth with it. It's going to be something that you can't evaluate, invalidate, okay? So there's something about you guys are being or going to be around people. And this could be a trigger for you guys because maybe it's actually a relationship with women in your family or just women in general or just people of the same sex. That could be intimidating for you to be around people who are also, like, stable of the same sex. Like maybe for my masculine, there's a relationship with somebody that, like, yeah, you got it going on with this person here. Also, it's like a weight on this person. Whoever this person, if you come to this reading with a specific person in mind, this is them. It's like this person here, there's like a lot of layers to this individual. Because how you're coming across to somebody is very confusing in a sense that where people feel like they don't know where they stand with you. I feel like people feel like that you're two-faced, okay? I do feel like that people feel like that you cause illusions. 
and they do feel like that you can be a bit like mean. Like you come across as kind of mean. Like I don't know. Like you look down on people. In a sense, if not looking down on people, more so not wanting to be bothered. So maybe your open sign is an open regards to wanting a relationship. Maybe there's the energy of this person feels like um, this, like or these like maybe you can put off this energy in regards to you don't want friends. Okay, that you just don't. Like maybe you out out like you ought to be saying that you don't fuck with niggas and you don't fuck with bitches. Like shit like that. It's like. You come across as somebody that, again, with resistance, it's maybe you guys want connections with people, but the energy that you put out to the atmosphere is kind of like contrary to that. And it's due to trauma. It's like, are you an introvert or when you a child where people, do people ignore you, people mistreat you, if they talk to you crazy, do people invalidate you so you've learned to be quiet? Is that a trauma response or is it a quirky personality trait? You tell me. Like, what's the truth of the real? What's the, what's, the, what's the truth? What's the real? Okay, so what is this? What is uh, how to know in regards to how people view their connection? Yeah, I feel like you have to let go of some like hurts, some past hurts because it's not serving you any good, it's stopping you from having abundant connections. Because I feel like that you are isolating yourself emotionally, like you, you become very stoic, and that, that's kind of like I don't know, even if you guys are in a relationship. People could feel like that you may feel like your relationship is better than like any connection. And this person comes with you everywhere. And it's like, girl, it's a girl's trip, not a girl and you're a boyfriend trip. No. <laughs> you know, it's like that. It's that type of energy. Maybe you guys are like Bible thumpers or something. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's, that could be great for you. It's wonderful. However, it's like, don't. Just because another couple is quirky or just because other people are quirky, just because people do things differently don't mean it's wrong, you know? Self-indulgence, need time to heal, ascending and healthy choices. Yeah, I do feel like your ego is a bit inflated, right? A bit inflated. And I do feel like spirit is sending you somebody to kind of sit your ass down. Or they have sent somebody to humble you. And that was like a warning in itself. Take the hours. I just could be past, present, or future. I see someone here. Now I'm getting, I'm seeing Corella DeVille. <coughs> if you haven't seen Corella, please watch Corella. Because you will be the mother in this situation. And Corella will be whomever. Someone that you disregarded or someone that somebody sabotaged something with. And there's going to be, uh, the skills will be balanced. Okay. Yeah, Corella. Yes. Strong. Yes, exactly. Exactly. There's going to be a test of character soon. And you're going to have like the option to turn things around or you're going to regret it. Yes, Corella energy. Five pinnacles. Yes. Someone here can take your spot. All in society. Everything can be taken away from you if you don't use your gift for good. If you're not being. Everything will be taken away from you. But you could gain everything or lose the world. You have to find duality. You have to find balance. Don't get too pompous because you will be humble. That's what I'm getting for you guys, probably. Too. Like it's just very straightforward. It's like you guys, you guys are very wise. You guys are very like. You have mastered just a, a lot of. You are very intelligent. You've mastered a lot of like skills and abilities. Some of you guys are into tantra, yoga. Okay. Don't be the weapon phone against yourself. It's like, I feel like you guys need to, I don't know. You guys need to kind of turn it down. And I never say that. I never say tone it down. Because I, I don't like, I don't feel like that's something that people should tell anybody to do. But it's not necessarily tone it down in the sense to where you have to like deal with people that are low vibrational. We have choices. It's more so about how you treat people. You know, so I let you do is how you do it. Choices that came out before I get it out. It's more about I don't know. Like it, it takes so much energy to be an asshole. You know? Yeah, you truth aura. You want to radiate positivity because activity that, that you that you preach about. You want to actually be that. You want to be kind. You want to give off a welcoming energy so you can have more abundance in your life. Because all this dark, gloomy energy and it's like your choices. You can choose to be happier. You can choose to vibrate at a happier frequency. Or if not, if you want to put negative energy into the world, if you feel like there could only be one, the things can change for the worse. 
chaos yes yes it, that's what i'm getting it's like a warning like you guys have to learn how to balance your ego get an alignment come on now very straightforward what's on the bottom of the deck ego de come on now i'm gonna end it right there ego death ego death period point like that's what i have for you guys proud to it is what it is and hey what the fuck it ain't i love you guys and went back in the round of house i'll listen to this video reading talk to you guys later bye <laughs> Right, yes, you guys chose Lucky Buddha, okay? So, I'm getting that you guys are, for one, very abundant. You look abundant. Your physique is abundant. Your life is abundant. You're very blessed. And people look at you as someone that's very lucky, spiritually guided, to from the divine oracle of some sort. But you, um, your, outer, your outer figure reflects the abundance of that you experience in the world, okay? <clears throat> I feel like you guys are very spiritually in tune. People look at you or somebody that is very fucking talented, uh, independent, ideal, someone that they want. Somebody that's very attractive as well, but somebody that also is like, can do their own thing. They're not pressed to be with anybody. You seem to be very enlightened, but you could have a thing for um, <laughs> bad boys or bad girls, okay? This connection is something... Um, in regards to who you're asking about, this is somebody that you feel very close to. This is somebody that you feel like um, this is a divine connection. I feel like at some point you've manifested this relationship. you manifest this person. This is someone where maybe you have set boundaries with this person because this person has done something that made you feel like you weren't emotionally safe in this connection or this relationship. But I do feel like this is something that you want to reconcile with or that the door is open. You still have emotions for this person. You still keep tabs on this person. Either through Terry or you still have a fire with this person. You still think about this person. There could be astral projection in this relationship. You tele telepathy could definitely be a thing. Okay, I'm getting more so this connection between you and this particular person that you're asking about this connection with spirit or this connection in general this relationship that you're inquiring about i feel like this is something that <clears throat> you find valuable this is also someone who puts you on a pedestal as well this person um considers you to be their empress whether you're masculine or feminine not binary whatever you identify as it does not matter to me they're putting you on a pedestal with someone that they want to give to, someone that they want to nurture, someone that they want to expand with. That's the, what the energy they're putting out there. Uh, this is how you perceive this person. Okay, so let me clarify. How does how three's person, if this is romantic, um, feel about them? If this is romantic, how does how three's person, how does how three's person feel about them? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> it's it's this person feels like that you're the um, apple of their eye, the piece of their pride. They also feel like you're very stable. They feel like that you're someone very unique. They feel like right now that you're um you're up to something. Uh, maybe you're isolating yourself from this person, but they uh, they understand you. They feel like that you're something or this connection is something that they, nobody else would understand, but they understand you. They also feel like this, that you're someone that they see beauty in that other people that you may they 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 like what they adore about you, how they feel about you is more than just skin deep. Other people look at you as like someone that's very attractive, very talented, but they know you on a deeper level. This is how they feel about you. They feel like they know the real you. Okay, Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups. Yeah, they have like very strong emotions for you. They're also very possessive and protective over you. They feel like that you're a soulmate. That you feel like that sometimes you can be flirtatious, but when things get heated, maybe you disconnect or you disassociate, or maybe you kind of like set boundaries. They feel like this maybe you don't know what you want, but they also feel like find you to be very confusing. But they really like you. They find you to be very endearing. Um, there's a school here. There's there. They feel like that they're one of your options. <laughs> they maybe don't feel like you take them seriously, but how they feel about you is that. They'll, they'll come running every time you ask for them. Pretty fucking much. Um, this person here is also somebody that's trying to paint themselves up. Maybe they feel like that you love them, but you kind of, you kind of hold your emotions attack. Maybe they feel like you have some emotional um, challenges. Because I'm seeing tape on this um, tapestry in the background. Hold on. Somebody here's name could be Toya watching this. Because I just heard, because um, I watched Toya MVP. 
And I just heard the cards, the cards, to give you what you need. Cards, cards, to give you ready. That's her song. Oh, and her intro. I'm not singing. I'm not doing the song justice. But <laughs> that's the song, but I just heard it randomly. So some of you guys either are subscribed to her or if that's your name, Toya. Okay, but when I, that's not <laughs> when I picked up this card. You could be a water sign. This is the Knight of Cups. Um, some of you, this person here, feel like that you're someone that hide your emotions for them maybe you flirt a little bit but you keep emotional boundaries they know that you have deep feelings for them that you lay on they know that you're quirky they just get you though they find you interesting so they do look at you as the empress in their life okay clarify how, how does um how three's person um talk about or uh, them to other people like what how do they present them how do they set the scene what do they say about how three other people <laughs> Maybe you block them. You cut them off. Yeah. This is giving like um, Wednesday energy. <laughs> they feel like that. I don't know. Like you, you block them. You unblock them. They feel like that you're. They say that you're using your voice for something now. Maybe through a career or something like that. They feel like you look good in it and whatever you do. Okay. Five of Cups say they miss you. That's what they're saying. Okay. So they're telling people that you guys aren't communicating, talking. You say a boundary, um, or they just feel like the things are just wonky between you guys right now, but. The truth of the matter is they love you and if you want them, if you want them back into your life, they'll they want you in their life for sure. And they definitely make that very clear to other people that you come first in their life. You could be an Aries or a Taurus that have these placements heaven in your chart or be born in the spring or summer. <clears throat> you could also be an air sign, Gemma Libra Aquarius, um, because we have adjudication. Okay, or yeah, we're getting strong fire though. But with Shine being the truth of the relationship, this relationship has helped you blossom. I do feel like that um you're someone who possesses a lot of wisdom, but you have a lot of, you're invested in this relationship. You know, no matter how much you want to act like you're not invested in this relationship, you are. That's for one. That's 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 for fucking one. Um, it does seem like that um, you're in a better place. You're in a much more stable place for this relationship to actually get off the ground because the card here is 32. And that equal that reduces down to five. So that lets me know that there's been conflict in this relationship. And I feel like the, the element now, the energy now is more conducive for what you're trying to manifest with this person. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let me um clarify that. Okay, it does appear to me that what people how people are viewing your relationship with this person though is that maybe you guys are just high sprung. Like, if you like it, I love it. That's how people are viewing this relationship between you and this person. They are, they feel like that you guys are mad at each other, but you guys um, create act like you guys aren't talking, but you guys are in communication. People feel like that you guys are in secret communication, or that you guys will be soon in communication. No matter that, whatever impression that you're giving that you're over this person, people know that you guys are going to be back in, in cahoots or in communication as well. Some people may feel like this person either isn't in your level. Somebody here feels like someone is emotionally mature. They may be saying that this feminine here. Um, somebody here is being called a simp. I will say that. No, I'm not saying. I feel like the, they're, if there's a, there's a masculine here, they're saying that the masculine is a simp for this feminine. And if this simp is some, somebody that. Hold on. <laughs> yes, it's like somebody here. It, they feel like, yes, I feel like the, if the masculine here is getting teased because it's like, bro, like, look, there's so many other options. They may feel like this person here ain't all that for what you put it into the relationship. They may feel like, why are you, I don't understand. <laughs> like, there's so many other people that you could be talking to right now. Why are we still stuck on this person? This person here, look, they, they bossed up on your ass. They not coming back. They feel like. I don't know, but they also know that somehow, some way, y'all gonna be back talking. So this part, they they feel like they can't really comment on the situation because whatever it is, they just know that it's spiritual. With the star card being here, it's like people feel like this connection here is just I don't know. They could also be trying to point awareness that your person is like doing good or show you like look what your person is doing to kind of see like get a reaction out of you, to see if you get mad or jealous, something like that. People really want to know how you really feel about the connection because you act unbothered, but people know that you keep up with this person. People know that you're bothered in behind the scenes about this relationship. Clarify the King of Wands. Ah! Moon! 
People know that you're secretly bothered, that you really care about this person. People know the emotional pull this person has on you. Yes, page of cups. People know that you sprung. People may even feel like that you like it's like puppy love. Okay, like you wishing on a star. Okay, like it's imagination. All right, just my imagination running away with me. <laughs> okay, it's just my imagination running away from me. <laughs> it's like that type of energy. Uh, this energy, the death card. People feel like that again. It does not matter what this person does. You're going to go back anyway. It doesn't matter what they feel, what they say. You guys are always going to come back together. I don't know if you guys' relationship is actually toxic. We have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling, I knew I was picking up on Gemini energy. This could be a twin dynamic or a soul connection where you guys, y'all are both weird. Period. Y'all are both the unique individuals. And I do feel like people look at you as like someone that it would take a special person to love. Not saying that you're some it's like to love closely because maybe you're not somebody that normally gets tied down. So for this person to have you like that, they have to be special and vice versa. You guys are a lot alike. You guys are a lot alike. And people feel like when you guys do bicker, you when you tell them, oh, this person did X, Y, and Z, they're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But they know you're not going to leave them no matter what advice they give you, but they give you their opinion and their advice anyway. And there's an energy of they also know that you're not telling them the entire truth because they also know that you had a role to play because you guys are just alike. When you describe this person, they, say, they can recognize that you guys sound a lot alike. They can see that. But it's almost like, well, I'm connected to you. The people that are connected to you don't like necessarily care for this person. The people that are connected to them don't necessarily care for you. It's like that type of energy. But with the lovers card being here, it seems to be like you guys have a. For one, they feel like the, the masculine is like completely smitten with the feminine. It's um, you guys are gonna watch the Adams family. I feel like they think that you guys are like Joker and Harley Quinn. You guys are like. Martin and Gina. A lot of people, Pam could not for the life of her understand, understood why Gina was so, like, wanted, wanted to marry or settle down with Martin. Martin's friend loved Gina, but they also didn't know why Gina wanted Martin goofy ass, but they supported their relationship. It's that type of energy. That's how I feel like people look at y'all relationship, but they feel like the feminine here is kind of like doing their own thing and kind of like living life and the masculine is like stuck behind the feminine. That's how people view the relationship. And people also, if, if it's the reverse for the feminine, I also feel like that the feminine, may, how does the feminine feel about the masculine? We gonna get down to it. Six of one, six of swords, five of swords reverse. This person here wants to reconcile, but they're very prideful. I don't see them making a move because they feel like they've done too much in connection. It's like if you don't reach out to I, I this person here is so fucking prideful. Could be an Aries, uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, that's the sign that here. Fire and air. This could definitely be a fire and air dynamic, which is why this connection here. Three of Pentacles, y'all could start out as friends. People know that you guys. Um, want to oppress the other person they notice you guys are, like when y'all go places you go to those specific places because you're hoping to see this person there people know that okay but this feminine definitely does that for sure um <laughs> this feminine here that how they feel how they're being viewed by other people in regards to their feelings for you is more so like they're trying to get their shit together they may have created distance in the past because they felt like they needed to maybe they felt intuitively got it away from you but this person here doesn't want the situation to end they are trying to find some sort of stability within themselves as an individual i see this feminine here as someone that is moving away but regrettably so like they have they still are emotionally attached to the situation but they have learned how to be independent they have learned how to release codependency Okay, and that may have been why there was dig uh, stagnancy in the past. Okay, so well, in regards to how people, what are people saying about this? What people are saying, the star card. People are saying y'all are made for each other. Really, it's down there like y'all, y'all made for each other. People don't understand our relationship. People do think it's a little toxic, but they understand that you guys are made for each other. People view y'all connection as something that's like they wouldn't do it, but they know that in the end y'all gonna come together see those people in the background running away and these people dancing in the street it's like you guys it wouldn't matter <laughs> what they say about the connection it wouldn't matter what i say <laughs> it wouldn't matter vice versa for both of y'all it wouldn't matter what i say they gonna do what they do whatever it's getting to the point where people just want to look at y'all when y'all talk about each other it's like are you talking are you telling me this for you or me you know how <laughs> what do people say we have i like you this person here feels like that you keep talking about that. You talk about this person a lot. 
So that's how they know that you're still interested. That's what they're saying about you. They're saying about this connection with the honeymoon. Like when I ask, what is this connection? What is it evolving to? What is it going to be? It's like the honeymoon. You guys are going to end up. This is, I see a reconciliation in the future. People are saying for sure. Follow Ghost Regards and female issue. They feel like that if you wanted to talk to this person and reconcile, you could. It's just y'all maybe being very... Y'all playing two for chat with each other, but y'all love each other. Y'all just playing games. Um, people also feel... Whoever this feminine is, this feminine is very commonly liked by everybody. In spite of their quirks. Okay. Um, the advice from your answers is how they feel about it. The king of one, the page of one. It does give make up your mind. Type of energy. <laughs> it gives make up your mind. We have the lovers <laughs> again. My ashes fell. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like you guys um, are trying to portray to other people that you're all over the situation that you don't want it because maybe you feel like you've done a lot in this connection. But I feel like there has been a lot of nothingness in this connection. Honestly, I'm not saying that the relationship is nothing. I feel like that you guys have y'all are so nervous about each other. So where y'all y'all have all these emotions, these really deep emotions, and y'all make things way bigger than what they need to be. And it seems to be with the lovers card and the king of wands and the page of wands. There needs to be action. There's a lot of ushy gushy feelings. It just seems to be like everybody knows y'all like each other. Why don't y'all talk to each other? And your ancestors are kind of like y'all. You know you want this person. They know they want you. It's up to you. Fill in the blanks. Page of Wands to the King of Wands. Fill in the fucking blanks. <laughs> like, are we going to just say it in limbo? The Lover's Card is giving fill in the fucking blanks. What is the advice from our power three viewers in this connection between them and the person they're inquiring about? Really sit and um, enjoy this time that you have right now in, in separation to really decipher what you want. Really clearly decipher what you want because if this is what you want, they will bring it to you. But it's like decipher the pros and cons of the situation. Really reflect and think beyond just the physical and the flesh because the want energy it is a lot of like I'm not seeing pinnacles. I'm getting like a lot of passion. And we need stability. Are you willing to put in the work? Are you prepared for a connection like this? Okay, let's we'll see if I put in this connection. Let's see if person wants to read it. Let's see if I. Hey, the ones. Wait, I do feel like again, you are very attractive. You are very abundant. And you can also manifest very, very well. If you believe that it's for you, will come. This is a soulmate of some sort. Lovers and the Knight of Cups. Okay. I'm getting that. Are, it's like, are you ready? Is this really what you want? Decipher what you want. And so it comes to you, basically. And when you get around this person, don't act spooked. I feel like y'all make a lot of like unnecessary like tension in this relationship. And it's like y'all y'all force beats the beef and separation. It's like, I don't know. It's like I have to be separated. I'm seeing like two twins, like like kids, they are just alike and they're mad at each other for like nothing. And the kids are fighting and then the kids have to, the parents have to take them and be like, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me separate y'all for living. At the end of the day, your kids have to make up. Because first of all, y'all came out at the same time, y'all twins. And y'all siblings, y'all live in the same house, y'all share the same room, y'all can't be fighting all the time. So eventually, I gotta put y'all in a room, I gotta make y'all hug and make up. But I gotta let y'all calm down first. I feel like I have a lot of those moments. <laughs> like, that's how I'm viewing y'all at this moment. Like, two raging twin siblings. It's like, calm down. It's the, <laughs> that's the energy. We have criticizing each other will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. That's basically what I'm getting. Okay, give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and all that your heart um, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Basically, what I was picking up on, this person does like you and there is attraction. You're not tripping. With in regards to what people are saying about your relationship, we have judication. Literally, 
literally what I was picking up on. See how that judge is like, uh-huh. So when are y'all just going to talk to each other? Both of y'all are acting like y'all want to get a divorce. It's like going to divorce courts and wait, wasting everybody's time. Wasting everybody's time. Because like that um, video where he had sex. They had sex that same morning before they went to court to have a divorce. <laughs> and when he, when he got called out for it, she was just like, ah, I'm going to have to put that video. It's like y'all are playing. Y'all are wasting time. Y'all are wasting time. Sorry, people don't even want to hear that shit no more. <laughs> we don't hear that shit. Okay. What is the advice for my pal three viewers in this connection that they're inquiring about? Blueprint. Okay. Follow your heart. Unconditional love. Follow your heart. Listen to your heart. Just go. You'll be surprised where it leads. Let go of fear. Let go of control issues. So how you want to be in control. You want to leave the relationship. Just let go and just allow it for like just try love for once transformation i feel like this connection can really go far if you just allow it to be instead of trying to look for the red flags creating red flags creating unnecessary obstacles playing mind games so that you can get this person to prove their loyalty and love before you really dive deep that's so fucking unnecessary this isn't a game show you this is in flavor of love this is literally like your life nigga and it's quit fucking playing literally you have family trauma and that's like literally so unhealthy unhealthy because you could be celebrating with this person like for one y'all have a lot of sexual tension and attraction and i do feel like that you also have to the advice here is that he has a family issue you have some family trauma okay some of you guys were abused as children or abused in life and you have to learn from there maybe you witness very unhealthy relationships and you have to learn how to have relationships with people that are beyond the flesh for one because once you take the physical out of it, you have to look at the truth, have true intimacy and go deep, which is what this relationship is going to require you to actually go deep. That's going to open up a lot of you and it's going to be worthwhile with enhancement. This person, this relationship is going to add to you. But you can't, for one, if you have an issue with cheating and exploring other options, that has to stop. But this relationship... Okay, my camera went out. But if there's been any cheating, that's going to be or someone here just doesn't know how to express love beyond like sex this relationship is gonna trigger you because you're gonna have to be a big boy or a big girl to talk about your feelings and emotions okay this connection is not something that's going to be very serviceable this is something that's going to be deep and it's going to require you to look at your own wounds and go from there you're going to create a family with this person Okay, you're gonna also manifest a lot of abundance. I feel like you being this connection being protected, all this greenery around this relationship, and I see this being something that is going to trigger a lot of wounds. It is, but you can't be afraid of that. You have to heal some things too. Stability, find stability within yourself, and then the outer world will follow. We have glam. I feel like again, and loyalty. A time you have to be good to yourself. Learn to love yourself. And this person here in this relationship is going to lo love you back, and you're going to be able, like it's going to be reciprocity in this connection. It has to be. That's the only way y'all going to be able to work is if there's equal give and take. And I feel like this person is willing. They just feel like they've done too much to get off the ground. So if you reach out to this person, whatever it is, something I see y'all end up talking in regardless. I feel like y'all gonna meet again. Y'all gonna end up talking somehow, some way. Just be open to it. Quit acting like y'all on bad terms, like y'all don't miss each other. That's so ridiculous and so unnecessary. So that's why if you guys. I love you guys to the moon and back and run out of the This will be your reading pal three. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, we finna roll that boy off. Oh, sparking shit on your way, smoking like runs. I saw that voice out of book, I'ma send out my nigga, that kid on your door like a punk. I'ma pass all this shit at my white boy. That nigga blowing shit down, yeah, he know how to hunt. Little shorty blessing me like Saints. I'm gonna go take that bitch out in that bottle run. You see me and you ain't not the same. My nigga gon' walk up his ass and I bow it off. Yeah, they wanna be me, but they can't. These niggas ain't never gon' be on the shit that I'm on. I be up bad like so bad, so so long. What's up, Pop for This to be a reading, and I have to say, the first thing I heard when I was laying out my cards was, Whomever who finds you finds a good thing. So, you are already you're someone who has a good, good feeling. Okay, I feel like that you're someone that's seen as wise, somebody that's also very talented, a really good homemaker, but you know how to have fun, you're very balanced. Okay, this person that you're inquiring about, somebody you probably have kids with probably married to or in a relationship with and there's equally even that you already feel very happy in this relationship this person here is someone who also possibly had things established before you either they had kids before you 
Or if somebody already had like an empire, they would make good money. They have things going for themselves. You have things going for yourself. So y'all come together. Y'all make a really good team. You feel the vibe. You got it against this person. You got it towards this person, vice versa. This is somebody where you feel like that there's a lot of security in this relationship. And you, like this connection here makes every connection, every heartbreak before this person worth it. I feel like you guys, y'all, it's not that y'all relationship is perfect, but y'all are able to heal and work through things because y'all are so much alike. But for the right for the right reasons, okay? So and this connection. The truth of your relationship is that it's very abundant. This person here is meant to be on your divine path. You're very happy with this person. And your guys approve of this relationship. What people feel like about your connection is that maybe you spend so much time with this person. Like your whole life is your relationship. <laughs> Let me see. Sorry, I'm eating. I'm on my own. My mental show and I I was craving whipped cream, so I'm gonna give me some whipped cream. <laughs> and some peaches and cream, I'm eating it together. But <laughs> so what he was saying about this connection for top four. This connection for top four. What he was saying about this connection for top four. Oh, you're very defensive about it. Okay. Um they're also saying that maybe the feminine has a lot of work in this relationship. Yeah, the feminine may be the breadwinner. The feminine may make more money than the masculine. If you don't care about a black nigga, I'm gonna make them care about me. Wait, the first of my Because we have the occupation card right here. Um, they may feel like um, this person here is lazy. The emperor. This could be a masculine who stays at home, but the feminine is the bravery. Yeah, the queen of uh, pentacles as the feminine. The truth of the relationship is just y'all happy, but people may feel like this person. I think that was the trash truck. People may feel like this person here is like trash or just knock of head of maybe they're lazy three of wands they don't they um maybe have a dream they're chasing that isn't gonna go anywhere maybe they don't make as much money as you this person could be aries or a Taurus. what are people saying about this relationship six of wands you seem very happy and proud of it that you guys um some of you guys will get an energy of like a Y'all could be a power couple. There's some people saying that y'all a power couple and that y'all work very well together. But there are other people saying that you guys are imbalanced. Like this could be, now I'm seeing Ace of Rocky and Rihanna. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. People can't deny that there's love in y'all relationship. That's period point like your blank. People can't deny that y'all love each other and that y'all will go to bat for one another. There's also an energy of, in this connection, what do people say about your relationship is that Y'all isolate y'all stuff for the people. Okay. Y'all joint at the hip. Like it's there's no going one going places without the other. I got that for another guy, maybe y'all to another pal. But this is like a much lighter energy. This is like the like this is stability. This is happiness. This is peace. Um people may even say like I don't know if y'all like y'all start y'all been together so y'all long, y'all start to look alike. People say stuff like that about y'all. Um people may say that you irritable or you hurry up and leave places where you where your person can be invited stuff like that maybe you break up your relationship a lot some of you guys are engaged or married and you always say my husband my. like you talk about people are become i don't know see what people are kind of hating but they have to give props because there's love here they can't say that your man don't love you your woman don't love you like your person don't love you your partner isn't in a hot long call for you the full call reverse they do they can't say maybe you guys have an unconventional relationship they may say they don't understand y'all connection but y'all seem to be happy. Full card in reverse. Maybe they say that you guys are spontaneous. You guys are like, it's odd. It's dynamic. Your relationship is odd. I never clear for the fool. Uh, the judgment card. Maybe it's a, a muscle of people in this relationship. Or maybe this person has like children. Or maybe this person left a relationship to be with you. Okay. They may say somebody is a, uh, it may be past the judgment because they may say somebody's a simp. Like somebody changed their ways. Or, yeah, somebody changed their play of ways for somebody. 
Yeah, maybe some in the past there was infidelity and there's been a recon reconciliation. And since then, um, you guys have gotten on track. There may be why some people are bitter, okay? Because now it's like you're defensive about your relationship. Can't nobody really tell you about it. You don't want to hear about the past. Y'all are good now, okay? When I ask you what your ancestors' advice about your relationship, how they feel about it, we have the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Judgment card, Reverse, and Justice. If you guys are in separation, I do feel like this could be a future prediction. I feel like you guys are going to be coming back together. You guys are going to be able to find common ground and make things work. It's giving for, for better or for worse type of energy. Or you guys have done that. And don't, so I'm hearing, don't listen to I what said, people say. They don't know about, said, about you and me. It's that type of energy. Like, like they don't want you to, like, listen to outside sources. Because these people, especially people that are single and always been single, don't worry about it. Don't listen to the appeals it was about your connection. Because I feel like it works for you guys. Because the truth is harvest. There's abundance here. How people view your relationship is the full car and the queen of cups. They feel like that you guys are just young in love. They may feel like the, the feminine here um, is a bit controlling of the masculine. Maybe this feminine has spirit. They may feel like that this person bewitched this masculine. There's an energy of like um, puppy love. But they know that you, for you guys is very deep. You know? Um... What's going on? What's the future? What's the truth? This connection. We have reconciliation, finances, and career, and stay optimistic about your love life. Uh, I do feel like there's potential for new beginning. If you guys are in separation with this person, that may have been because of third parties and outside influences. I do. I am getting more of a soul energy of this is something that you guys are going to be going over, over each other. And although right now there may be a distance, maybe your partner is not making as much money as they used to, or vice versa. Like things will change. And there will be a point in which this other person who you've been possibly um, taking care of will be taking care of you. Like it's, uh, there's going to be equally up to this person that will, will pay the debt. Because this looks like maybe um, somebody isn't working right now or can't work or is focusing on their dreams or whatever. But wait on this person, they're going to blow up and they're gonna, there's going to be um, balance, financial financial balance in this relationship. So that's why they're stay out of about your love life. Because that may be like the, the red flag or the talk of the tail. But fuck these people. Which y'all got in silent, but you already knew that. So that's what I have for you guys, Pop 4. I love you guys to the point back and around and all the socials. And this will be your reading. Talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm making myself weak. I throw myself a pity party. Yeah, we've been out of the way. Sparking shit, I always smoke when I run. I find a place out of book. I'm a sinner, my nigga. They can't handle the microphone. I'm on top of this, they're my white boy. That nigga blowing shit down, yeah, ain't no water. I'm in the shorty, blessing me like saints. I'm feeling good, take that bitch out in the bottom. You see me and you and I the same. A nigga gon' walk up, bitch, that's enough. I bow it off. Yeah, they wanna be me, but they can't. These niggas ain't never gon' be on the shit that I'm on. I beat up a bad life, so bad, so long. I'm so hot, this guy feel like no.